episode of Not So Up So Saturdays. And today, I didn't really have anything planned. A lot of my friends are working, and kind of just, I don't know. Right now, I kind of, I just, this morning I just hopped in my car, got half a tank of gas, and I don't know. Let's go see where it takes me, as cliche as that sounds. I got my suction cup now, so we'll see if we can get some cool angles and stuff. I mean, I know tonight I'm going to a, a carnival thing, so I'm going, it's going to be really cool getting some shots of that. But, oh, there's my street right there I need to turn on. Oh well. sounding this morning I just I don't even know right now like honestly I just wanted to be behind the wheel and just drive around because that's just what I enjoy doing yeah, so this is the post right here sometimes I like to be alone in my Mustang cruising in my own world and I don't know why I'm in such a mood like this but I just need to just to drive I, mean, I don't know it's like just something I don't know it's pretty dope looking E36 over there though a white one I can see the camber from here. Look pretty good. Alright guys, so that was a good way to spend my morning in a way. Or it's like, it's only 11.45, which is pretty good. And, I don't know, after driving like that this morning, I was thinking about maybe like, if it's possible if I can get the opportunities to, to introduce car reviews to the channel. Just an idea for the future of the channel. Alright guys, so it's 12.45 right now. A while ago I did a light bar, not a while ago, but not too long ago I did a light bar install in my car. And the deal I got on Amazon for the light bar was two light bars for like $59, free shipping. So the second light bar I've had, and I haven't had anything to do with it. So my cousin, he said he wanted to buy it from me. And I tried looking for all the mounting brackets that came with it. I can't find any. Alright, so I couldn't find the mounting brackets at anywhere. Like, I don't even know what happened to them. They vanished into thin air. I'm just going to take it over to his place. And maybe we can fabricate something out of wood and bolts. Because all it is really is just a little hole right there. And you could make it. You can make anything for that. So, we just need to find the right bolt pattern. Not bolt pattern. The, the right size bolts. And then we'll be able to put it on. And he wants to put on a little John boat. Cause he wants to go night fishing so i think that'll look pretty cool 24 inches like that that'll be more than enough being out there on the water i'm gonna head over to his place and see what we can do this place right here this is where i'm gonna be at tonight and what i might do is get here early and bring the drone you know just just cuz because there's a ferris wheel and that'd be awesome maybe like fly through the, the the rings of it and stuff that would be pretty sweet I'm not about risking $500 like that. So. Want it to be secure, right? Because it could also shine down you in the water too. If you went gig build the bracket right, and you gotta look at this. Here's the bottom. Yeah. Top. Just make it snug. But we build it up an inch off of this base. Build it off an inch off the base. That way you can tilt it down like you're saying. I know. Tilt it water. up. And then it, it's screwed into here. You got two screws in there. Alright, well let's do it. Right. What's up? Yeah. You cut a small Wait, piece. that would be good, dude. We'll all be sitting there. Alright, 
so right now we're about to go to Ace Hardware. Cousin had to just go back and got the light bar because he forgot we're going to get some bolts to mount it with that fit it and get a switch, uh, get some other stuff. Yeah, so light, it's all going to go good. Just going to go Ace, get some stuff, get some hardware from Ace. Yeah, so we need wire, switch, and bolts, and washers. Maybe right here, maybe? No. You want to put it back here? Oh, we'll put it somewhere. Yeah. Right there? Oh. Hard right here? Let me see. Tape. Yeah, that's what I said to do. Electrical tape it. Cool. So it's going to go right here. Yeah, this is definitely thinner than I thought it would be. This is going to work good. Those rubber bushings are really going to help. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it looks like Jay got the rubber, rubber. Keep it in there. That looks good. This looks legit, man. Look at that. That does. That is really flush. Boom. Looks good. <laughs> Dad, everything's gonna be covered up. When we got this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I was like, what in the world? That's it. Those things are good too. Bullet. That's pretty sick. Negative and positive. Um, they're both negative or both positive because you run. In the water right there. Pretty sure you just run the red in, run the red out. Because you're just disrupting the service, or the circuit. This thing turned out great too. It stays in its position because we have the rubber in there, the nuts, and the bolts. That's awesome. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Tear it apart. That's probably my mom. No, it's actually probably my dad. Hmm. You know, I could go with you tonight. My dad has asked me. I don't know if I want to go to carnival or go fishing. Alright, so we just finished up with the light bar. Turned out really awesome. And the homemade mount works great. So I've got to run back home and run some stuff to the dump. And then they gave me the opportunity to go fishing with them tonight. Which either carnival or go fishing. Oh man, that's that's rough. But it's when the time comes, I guess I'm gonna have to make a decision. Alright, so there's a key in here. Of course not. But right now it is it's 5.40. It takes me about five minutes to get to the dump. Five, ten minutes. And got all the trash in there now. So closes at five. So this is going to be cutting close. Alright, so I made it just in time. Literally like eight minutes to spare till they close. So it made it pretty close, but I made it, so I'm in here. They're not going to kick me out and not take my trash. So I'm about to pull up now, load it all in the big compressor, and be done with it. I was not the last person. There was like four other people that came in after me, so I don't feel so bad now. It closes now in four minutes. Now I'm going to go home and contemplate on whether or not I want to go fishing or go to a carnival. kind of thinking about fishing, because carnivals kind of sketch me out a little bit. Nice golden white dress, Mom. Thanks. That. Yes, it is golden white. That's golden white. Alright, guys, so I made my decision. I'm gonna go fishing. We're gonna have a good time fishing tonight. It's gonna be night fishing. Now that we have that light bar. And 
Yeah. His girlfriend works at Subway too, so she's hooking us up with some subs. It's pretty awesome. The skyscape today, if that's even a word. The clouds, it's just, the sun, it looks so great today. This is the most perfect time of year. Oh, that Porsche. Nice. Right there, right there. Where? See him? Yeah. See his eyes reflecting? Where, where is he? Like... Right there, yeah. Here we are, once again. Well, not really. Yeah. We're uh, by the other corner. So listen, stop uh, with the battery, and it's not. In, it's in gear. That's I. That's my conclusion, I guess, because I can't see. Yeah, I know, I can't here. see either. Pitch black here. But going this rate of speed, we would probably get back in about 45 minutes. <laughs> okay. So here's the situation. Got one battery back here. Running the boat. Or engine. Engine's not starting, so it's draining that battery. And we have a battery up front running the trolley motor, which is slowly dying because it's got a trolley motor and a light bar hooked up to it. So, it's rough. I feel like I should have gone to the carnival instead of this. Oh, I could have gotten a funnel cake. All right, so using Snapchat to monitor our speed, going 1.7 miles per hour, that battery's dying. We only have one good flashlight. See how long we last. That was quite an interesting turn of events. If the motor did not break on the car, we wouldn't have had to have stopped, and Kyle couldn't have been able to help. It looked like a, some guy on a bike rolled, flipped, or something. It's gone, yeah. Broken neck, maybe. Kyle helped. Pretty crazy turn of events for the evening. But the EMS just took him to a Cal Regional, so. For trauma. For trauma. They were giving them CPR whenever we got CPR here. CPR and bag valving. Back valving? Bag. Bag valving. I'm doing bag valving on the side of 103rd. Wait, what? Yeah, Seriously? all of this happened. Captain Cooper was there. I was there for about two minutes doing everything before. Man. What an evening it turned out to be. Alright, so I know it's hard to understand what just happened. So what had just happened was, we were coming back, we had just loaded up on the boat, we were Come back into a cow. We got off of 200 onto 103rd, and we see his car on the side of the road. You know, doors open, and people in a little ditch on the side of the road, and there was a bike. So we immediately assumed, like, oh, man, something happened. They kind of flagged us down. So we turned around. Well, my cousin Kyle, he's just became certified EMT, national level, you know, passed the test and everything. He knew what was going on. So basically, I, what I what I think happened was this gentleman on the bike, um, I won't give any details, this gentleman on a bike, he, um, it looks like he was riding his bike in the dark, hit the curb, went over the handlebars, uh, face straight into the drain cover area, the uh, thing that goes like underneath the driveway, drain pipe, rolled a little bit, and that's where he laid. When he got there, they started giving CPR to him, and obviously, his nose was pretty jacked up. Pretty sure it was broken. Uh, the police officer who showed up later. They said he probably broke his neck. The guy had trouble breathing. It was. It wasn't very gruesome. It was very uh, interesting change of events for that late in the evening, something like that to happen. So that was very. I don't want to say cool, but it was exciting. Let's put it that way. But overall, 
if that what a coincidence because the people that were there before us they were actually ex-EMTs and they had gloves in the back of their car they had a valve breather which uh, was something like had like a thing that goes over the mouth and a little pump bag so what a coincidence that a guy that could that was as helpless as him out there in a ditch had ex-EMTs roll up and a to be hired on EMT roll up to potentially save his life. Well, it's just that's crazy how coincidental that is. That is just that blows my mind how that happened. Like I just that blows my mind. But right now, it's actually it's no longer Saturday. Well, it is the end of the episode. So. If you like what you saw today, make sure you leave a like below. Have any questions or comments, leave them below also. I'll be more than happy to respond. And for more content, Mustang, vlogs, you name it, make sure you subscribe, share with all your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Mm-hmm.